I'm just going to do a quick update video really a little bit like a bit of a part two for if you was wanting to change the, the rear tailgate and rear bumper on a box or the Gilia B so 1.2 I so I've done another video quite a few months ago but um, there's a few things I've probably left out of that if anyone's crazy enough to to do this modification and change the rear end got me there in the, the rear window but um, rear bumper on a Suzuki Splash they did a couple of different styles this one's got the rear sort of like grill uh, artificial vents I suppose you'd say that which would make it look a little bit sportier look in they did a, a, another uh, style where it was a singular straight line I think it had a reflective strip in it but uh, to me that's definitely the better better looking rear bumper that fits pretty much straight on in the rear bump bar uh, there's no issues either with fitting that uh, rear tailgate fits in fine as well and uh, no issues with that biggest issue is the, the rear lights there's a different profile on the Aguilia lights as opposed to the Suzuki splashes splash versions which you don't realize until you want to put the rear bumper on so this part of the, the light let's say is a different profile and the bumper bumper angle must be slightly different profile because the, the light sits proud so you basically have to change the rear lights as well so again this is a Vauxhall Aguilia 2010, it's a 1.2 B version. Uh, it's got a Suzuki Splash rear bumper, rear tailgate, and the rear lights. You can just see on there. The Aguilia has double fog lights, so you have to basically remove one fog light on the driver's side because on the Suzuki Splash is it on that one? you I've got to double check now you've got me there is it double reverse lights? yeah it's double reverse lights it's double reverse lights I'll put them down there so it's not Fogs, is it? Or is it? Is that blanked off? Drop that on there. No. Okay, so yeah, you've got on the they're the Aguilia B version, so you have two two reversing lights on the B. Suzuki splash, you get one. The fog light sits in on, on the driver's side of the indicator and normal lights and then passenger side you've got your reversing light indicator and rear lights as well. So the other video talks about the, the door lock mechanism which you have to make a bit of a modification for which is quite straightforward really, especially if you've got an electronic rear lock assembly. And that's basically it, to be fair. There's nothing else to really say about that, but I say, if there's anyone else crazy enough to do that change and even modify a box of Aguilia, that's a bit of info really, and a bit of an insight on what you need to do. What do people think? Gilia B rear lights, a lot of red on there, or Suzuki Splash rear lights. Let us know what you think.